the Residential Real Estate Spring 2019 Market Update. I am your host, Eric Mendelson, Licensed Associate Real Estate Broker with Warburg Realty. Here is the outline for today's seminar. A little bit about me, why I do what I do, followed by what you're here for, the New York City Market Update. I have so many interesting charts to share with you today. We will then be diving into condo investing, new condo developments, and Hudson Yards, among other topics. Finally, I will have a few closing words. All right, so to get started, a little bit about me. I'm a licensed associate broker with Warburg Realty. I have closed over 300 transactions throughout my time in real estate. I have a BA from the University of Wisconsin and an MBA from Emory University. So why I do what I do? I think it is very important to understand me and where I come from. I love to work with people and help them. As I say, real estate is the ultimate people business. I also have a passion for data and markets. My background in financial services provides information at a higher level of expertise and really comes across to my clients because I love data. I will be sharing with you so much data today about the current market. To start, the New York City market is divided into the five boroughs, and then, of course, you have New Jersey, which includes Hoboken and Jersey City. For today's seminar, we will be primarily discussing Manhattan. So now it is time to get into the gist of why we are here, the market overview. So right now we are seeing a high supply of inventory, which is supply on the market. The amount of inventory in the market has skyrocketed over the past year to 18 months. We are also seeing lower demand to purchase than in past years, which is measuring contract sign, the chart on the right. With the highest supply we have seen in recent memory and lowest demand of the decade, we have seen a shift in the supply demand curve which means that prices have come down. It is really a buyer's market at every price point in the neighborhood. We are seeing a 10 to 20% decline in pricing from the recent highs. In 2018 alone, we saw a 10% decline. Based upon all these factors on this slide, there's been a total reset in the market regarding pricing as the market is on sale from the recent highs. This contract sign per inventory chart shows who holds the advantage in the market. The lower the number, the more the pendulum has moved towards buyers. It shows that it is a very hard environment for sellers and the swing in the market entirely towards buyers. We are now going to specifically address the $1 million and under price range. This price range has been heavily impacted by the December 2017 tax bill as this budget adapts more to the entry level buyer which tends to be the first time home buyer. We are seeing much weakness in the co-op and condo markets, less than $1 million. This chart of the co-op market shows how it has been a complete reversal of market conditions in Manhattan. In only a few years, as inventory from March 2019 was up 23% over a year earlier, with decreasing contract signs year over year. Similarly, in the one million and under condo market, we are seeing a 59% increase in supply year over year. The pendulum has swung entirely for co-ops and condos in this price range. I am now going to discuss open house attendance. With lower interest rates, we are seeing more interest in the market compared to the fourth quarter of 2018. The percentage of open houses with no one showing up has not been above 15% since the middle of January. The 15% was routinely eclipsed over the latter half of 2019. This means that there is more interest in the market with a higher influx of buyers into the market. It typically takes new buyers a few months to make a decision, so we should see an increase in the contract sign numbers year over year for April, May, and June. Moving on, this day on the market chart shows the challenging environment for sellers as we have now reached over 100 days on the market as an average for listings. The longer an apartment remains on the market, the tougher it is for sellers as buyers pick up more advantage in negotiating. That is why my warning to sellers is that you have to really pinpoint pricing at the beginning, which means only using comps from the last few months since the market environment has shifted that dramatically. The first quarter of 2019 featured the fewest 
first core purchases in a decade. This is another way of showing this buyer's market in Manhattan. So to tie up all this data that I've showed you is a buyer's market at every price point. On any given Sunday, we are seeing a 10 to 15% of open houses have no one show up. Buyers have maximum advantage in this market and negotiating power. It is a perfect storm for buyers to find value in purchasing. As I say, every neighborhood apartment size has its own story. Let us now move on to discussing condo investing. Rental rates are actually starting to show signs of climbing for the first time in a few years as the NYC unemployment rate continues to remain low. When combined with a soft sales market, this makes it a great time to purchase. If you do want to purchase, the spring market presents a great opportunity, as the summer rental market is the best market to maximize your return on investment. I am now going to transition to the recent news from the past week with the increase in the mansion tax that will take effect on July 1st. Taxes will remain unchanged for purchases under $2 million. This progressive tax will be used to fund needed improvements on the New York City subway. Let us quickly look at some of the new development projects in the pipeline. We will discuss Hudson Yards further in a few moments. If you look at the chart in the middle, you'll see the Hudson Yards, the 15 Hudson Yards development. Let's go look at One Manhattan Square to the left of the 15 Hudson Yards. This is located on the Lower East Side. This past week, it was just announced that they would be covering 10 years worth of common charges on three bedroom purchases. It is a great time to buy in new developments with many incentives being offered. Let's now move on to discussing the recent news of Ken Griffin, CEO of Citadel, making the largest purchase in U.S. history at $238 million at 220 Central Park South. Certainly, he saw value in the marketplace with this purchase. His purchase covers several floors of the new 79-story condo tower. This apartment covers four full floors and is around 24,000 square feet, with stunning views of Central Park. I am now going to discuss Hudson Yards in more detail. This square represents the Hudson Yards location. The ULC is just to the west of Central Midtown Manhattan. This is a new neighborhood that has been referred to as the Dubai of New York City, or a city within a city. Built by Related Real Estate, sales started at $4.3 million. The retail restaurants just opened up this past month. As you see, since the sale, shops and restaurants opened in Hudson Yards, interest in Hudson Yards has spiked. Though the interest has settled down as of late, it is still a highly desirable neighborhood. I am now going to follow up on the halting of the 24-7 L subway train shutdown that we discussed in depth on our winter 2019 market update. This is my quote in Mansion Global where I mentioned that once the L train is improved, the L train will be one of the premier subway lines in the city. Since this news, the Williamsburg market has been hot with only 3% of Williamsburg homes being a price class, which is down from 20% one year ago. To switch gears, there are three main aspects of my business and how I can help you. I help buyers to find an ideal property, anything from negotiating to positioning the offer and doing comps analysis, so you know where to bid and if the property is a good buy. I also have access to very well-qualified professionals, attorneys, contracts, and architects. I also help homeowners to sell the property, so I define and execute a strategy for sale. I do a pre-market evaluation for any homeowner of New York City real estate. Last, I also help homeowners and multifamily property owners to rent out their apartments. This is my blog, homebuyingyorkcity.com. Please check it out. I post many great articles on it, including my quarterly market reports plus other posts, which are beneficial to anyone who wants to buy a home.
please connect with me on LinkedIn, social media. This is my Twitter handle and how to find me. I want to thank you for attending today's real estate market update for April 2019. Here's my info, so please reach out with any questions about buying or selling an apartment in New York City. It would be my, my pleasure to help you. Thank you again for attending today's webinar, the 2019 April Market Update. Thank you so much. Goodbye.